Hi guys, it's Lisa's Find the Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who needed to find her redo. And I have found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, and hard goods. Today, I'm here for something new. I recently sent two boxes to thread up. I sent one was more, let's say nicer clothes, okay? Nicer clothes, some, there were a couple of designers, you know, things like that. But I sent that with the first one. And then I sent a second one about a week later that had uh, everyday clothes, your everyday clothes. Well, I was so impressed with the fact that ThreadUp processed my bag. Now, I did pay for expedited shipping and return insurance, but they processed my bag in seven, I'm sorry, eight days. That's from the time I mailed it to the time they got it ready for me to make any changes. Eight days, 5th to the 13th. It was amazing. So I thought, okay, if they're going to do that, then I'm going to try that up again. I'd gotten away from them because some of the items that I had gotten back were damaged. I had I'm missing I missed buttons. I had a zipper that was broken. I had one that had a big old shoe print right in the middle of it. So I got away from it. But I thought, you know, I still don't like to sell dressy clothes. So I thought, okay, let's try it again. Okay, my shirt makes me look like a big old polar bear. But it is thrifted, but I didn't like the way it fits, so I'm going to be selling it. Okay, so I want to show you what I'm sending. Now, I may not be finished, and if I add more, I'm going to add more to the end of this video. But I always want to send close to 30 pounds as possible because I bought return assurance and I bought expedited um processing on this. So I want to get it as close to $30 so I can get as much bang for my buck as possible. So let's look at what I got. Now the first few items aren't your dressy um, items or anything like that, but I'm needing more items for my box to get to 30 pounds, but I don't know how much yet because I haven't weighed it. But this is what right now I have on my manifest to send to them. The first item is a tweed hooded blazer, a blazer, vest by Day Trip. I've never seen anything. I know it's not an expensive brand, and they if they take it, they're probably, I might get a payout of a couple of dollars, maybe. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'll try it, okay? The next item is a pair of code blue jeans. Um, these are in great shape. They're not real expensive jeans, but I thought I would try them. I've never sent jeans to thread up. I bought the denim boxes, but I've never sent them. Okay, the next pair of jeans is an American Eagle. Okay, these are the low rise, so I'm not sure if they'll take them or not, but they are straight legs, which is more in now. So maybe they will, who knows, who knows, okay. The next pair of jeans is a children's pair. I want to tell you, I sent a Catherine Malandrina kid's dress that I washed. I mean, it, it, it turned out beautiful, but I got it for a friend's daughter. And by the time I took the time to wash it and everything, she had outgrown it. So I sent it in there. They listed it for $79.99, and that's what they listed it for. I left it at that. If I could sell that dress and make the $40 or so from that, I'll take it every day. So, children's place, pair of jeans. That's not going to be the same as the Catherine Maladrina kids. Now this, eh, I don't know. I'm probably going to get it back. But it's a Kim Rogers animal print little um, jacket. I don't know. I'm going to stick it in there. Okay, the next is a top that I recently received in a Thread Up designer box. It's a helmet lang. It's a beautiful shirt, but I don't do well with designer clothes, as I said before. Maybe it's because I don't necessarily like to list them. I love the money from them, but so I thought I'll send this. It was a beautiful shirt. Why not send it? Okay. The next item, and they may not take this because I think it's vintage, 
is a Night Studio New York, but it's an 18W, and it's a longer jacket that is just really pretty. I mean, I don't know. They may not take it because I believe it is vintage, but it was also pretty, and I thought, I'm going to take a chance on that because, you know, it was funny in that first box that I sent. They took things I thought they wouldn't, and they didn't take things that I just knew they would, so you never know. Now, this is the first of the items that I actually got back from ThreadUp. This was a London Fog. This is a London Fog. Um, beautiful purple, rich purple um, trench coat. But I sold it. They sold it. Unfortunately, it was returned. So, we waited out the period. I recalled that. I don't always recall my stuff. I've made the mistake of forgetting to recall my stuff and... Oh, I was so mad at myself because a lot of really nice things went by the wayside. Don't do that, okay? But some of these are um, ones that I've gotten back from Thread Up. Okay, this is a Charles New York. Oh, it just feels so nice, and it is a 16. Okay. Um, some of these aren't, aren't design, most of these are not designers or, or dress clothes, they're just nicer clothes. This is a Banana Republic 718, just a nice pair of navy blue trousers. Okay, this is also a Banana Republic. This is a cotton blazer. I don't know if they'll take it now because it's not really the season. But if they don't, I'll probably send it again later. And that is one I picked up at the thrift store. Now, this is one that I sent them before. Now, all of these that I sent before were actually listed, okay? These are ones that were listed. This is a pair of Talbot's Petites Florals, and they're kind of capris. So, again, I'm not sure if they're going to take those two because it's out of season, but they are two that I will, when I get them back, I'll just get ready to list them again. Now, I don't know how much maternity they take. But this I picked up at a thrift store, and I thought I would try it. It's just Gap Maternity. Real nice pair of those black dress pants. And so I thought, well, we'll try it. We'll try it. The next item is a New With Tags one, uh, Anne Fontaine. You know, this is a blazer that I thought, well, I'll, I'll start um, a box and send something to the real real. Just knew that would be on there, but it wasn't. I mean, it's a beautiful blazer, and it is new with tags. Okay. The next item is a Connie Robertson. This is like the old um, Japanese kimonos and stuff. That's what it looks like, but it's just a little short jacket. And, um, again, I'm not familiar with that brand or anything. I just thought it was different, so I would send it. Okay, the next item is a David's Bridal size 4, new with tags, little dress. It's kind of a copper color, and it does have the belts. It has everything, and so I'm thinking that would be great for Christmas parties where you don't want to be in your face red or black. That would be a classy, classy dress. The next item is one I got back, and I think this came in a thread up box. This is a one state, and it is a small, but it is new with tags. The next item is a Saint Emile, Saint Emile, and it's just a little black, short, uh, cropped um, blazer with a little um, peplum back there. Just thought that was a pretty blazer. You know, a lot of these I got for a dollar because, um, you know, if you've ever gone to Dollar Days at Goodwill, you know that those are a lot of times items that you'll find there because, you know, people aren't, still aren't going to the office as much. So, uh, you know, that's what I did. The next is a Pendleton Blue Blazer, and I believe this is also vintage, so they may not take it. But whenever I got that for a dollar, I thought, okay, I'm going to try to throw it up. I might should keep that. It's a beautiful one. Try to sell it myself. But I'm sending it. Okay, this came back in that box of, uh, re of recalls. And this is a Chico's Traveler's Vest, and it is a size zero. 
that was a larger size, I probably would have just kept it for myself. The next item is a J. Jill pair of corduroy pants, and this is one I also got back. This is one they did list, just like that vest. I know corduroy is supposed to be a little bit more in this year, so maybe they'll take that and maybe they'll sell it. Probably won't sell for a lot, but hey. The next is a pair of Chico's Traveler's Pants, real nice in a size three, um, real nice navy blue pants. And then my last item right now, may add more, is an Ann Taylor black blazer. And it's just got the cute little belt on the back, adds a little bit of touch. So right now, I just wanted you to see what I'm sending to thread up. Um, if I were to get so lucky, and I want to get this out, because if I'm so lucky to get them to do another processing in eight days, I'm going to be, yay! But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep you informed as to how things are going with ThreadUp. You know, when they get it processed, I'll shoot a film and let you know what they took, okay? And, you know, 30 days, I may do another one and say, what sold? You know, some boxes I've sent, and I've sent several boxes. It's been quite a while since I sent one. But some boxes I would sell seven or eight items out of them, and some I'd sell two. Some of them might sell the most expensive. Some of them might sell the cheapest. So you just, there's no rhyme or reason. But I did do expedited shipping and return assurance because I wanted to get these items back because some of them I will list. Um, also, hopefully, I, I'm going to resell a remix next week. I'm so excited. Yay. Yeah, it's in Vegas. I get to see my son. He lives in Vegas. Win-win. So, um, when I get back, I want to try to get another casual clothes. And honestly, I may start going through my, some of my clothes that I've already listed. I know, you know, you think, well, I've spent all that time photographing. I've spent all that time listing. But you know what? If it'll sell someplace else and I can move it, why wouldn't I do that? Okay. Now, I just wanted to show you um, how I pack my boxes. I will be honest. This is the box, the only box I was able to pick up yesterday, and it's from Walmart, and it's smaller than the medium Lowe's boxes, but I wasn't going to Lowe's, and I really didn't want to be going to Walmart, but I went in there to get a couple boxes, and these are quite a bit smaller, and it's been raining every day, just a little bit, but enough where the businesses around here, um, the boxes they put out are drenched. So, I just wanted to kind of give you an eye about how I pack my items. I do try to fold them where uh, there's not as many creases and stuff because generally, Fred Up just takes the stuff out of our boxes and hangs them up. They don't do any help. So, I want to show you real quick how I'm going to package. So, the blazer, I will just try to fold as nicely as I can. Um, well, as nicely as I need to. The pants. Pants. Right, the vest. That didn't look very nice, but the good thing about travelers, the Chico's travelers, is they uh, pack really nicely. Okay, the Pendleton blazer. Like I said, I don't know that they're going to take that, but we can hope. Okay, this is the um, St. Emil blazer. Okay. Top. And I know you're going, Lisa, you're not packaging these very nicely. Well, I've, I have already seen them and everything, and hopefully they'll stay at least somewhat okay. The, this one is actually almost a thousand inches cubic inches difference. Isn't that wild? Is that cubic interest inches? 
I don't know. But it is uh, quite a bit smaller than the one I get from Lowe's. So, you know, I said I was going to try to add some. I may have a little room to add, but I'm not going to have a whole lot of room because I don't want to just squish them down too much. Um, and I may just go with this this time and decide a little more later, but I do, I do like to get the most bang for my buck. Making sure that wasn't a okay. And I don't know how to fold this without it being wrinkled. Maybe it'll make it. It was, I heard that Thread Up doesn't steam the items when they get there. Um, it's kind of our job, but I can't see after we um, packaged them in a box how that's going to work. And back. Some of these items, they were just filler items. But we'll see. They do like you to get your box full. Okay. Okay. Now I might should have put them on bottom so that the person didn't get an idea that that was all that was going to be in the box. So, okay. Here's what the box looks now, and you see it's pretty darn full, so I probably will not be able to get um, anything else. I'm probably not going to try, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to get my scale, and we're going to weigh it to see how much it weighs. Okay, so here is the packaged box. It's got everything in it. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to activate. Tells me that it weighs 26.9. So even though I didn't have that many um, items, uh, yeah, weighed quite a bit, didn't it? Okay. I always include a manifest of what I'm sending in. I give them the ability to check off when they pull it out of the box. And then the two boxes on the right hand side are for me to put what they listed it for and if it sold what it sold for. Because I wanna know the difference between what they originally listed it for and what it sold for. So, I put this in the box, okay? Then I tape it up. Then I put on the label, and hopefully I can do this without, I don't know, well, that was not good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it worked, didn't it? So, now I'm ready to mail to thread up. And I'll take it to my post office in the morning and get it off. So, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in thread up and you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see other videos, if you want to see all these next videos on my thread up box right here, then hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when those videos come out, then hit the notifications bell. I really do appreciate you coming today. And I want you to do me one favor. I want you to go out and find your redo.